America's bridge is at risk after the Key Bridge tragedy. The local engineering experts putting a spotlight on whether more structures are vulnerable to a catastrophic collapse. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. Welcome to WJZ's All Local News at 6. As ships get larger, many are asking a crucial question. Are bridges across the country protected in the event of a disaster? That's the question engineers and students from Johns Hopkins University want to answer with a watershed new research project looking at the vulnerabilities. And WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is in your corner live in South Baltimore speaking tonight to the person spearheading this important study, Mike. Denise Vick, he says this is urgent and we just don't know the extent of the vulnerabilities. The preliminary findings should be out by the end of the summer with a full report within a year. In the wake of the Key Bridge collapse, Baltimore's worst maritime disaster, engineers at Johns Hopkins University quickly got to work, aiming to find out which bridges nationwide are at risk of a catastrophic collapse. Asking the question, well, what is the real risk to the major bridges across the, across the country? Associate Professor Michael Shields is leading the investigation, fueled by a rapid response grant from the National Science Foundation. We have a team of seven students and uh, three investigators who will be pouring over the, over the next year, we're going to be pouring over global shipping data uh, that looks at the frequency of, of vessel traffic under, under American bridges. So we're specifically looking at major American ports. The Key Bridge, built in 1977, passed all inspections, including one less than a year before its collapse, with a fair rating. But the National Transportation Safety Board has long warned ships, many now weighing tens of thousands of tons, are getting bigger, posing greater risks to bridges across the country. Over time, uh, you know, it's not the bridge that's getting larger, it's not the waterway that's getting the larger, it's the vessels that are getting larger, and not just uh, width, but height. Uh, with containers. The Chesapeake Bay Bridge, like the Key Bridge, is considered fracture critical, meaning if one major support fails, the whole structure could fall, and it's not alone in being vulnerable. According to Johns Hopkins, there were 17 major bridge collapses between 1960 and 2011, averaging one every three years. The real impetus for this study is that we don't really have a good assessment, we don't have a good understanding of what the risk to the current bridges is. New before and after satellite images show the Progress clearing the key bridge from the Patapsco. More than 50 days since the president's Baltimore visit, he met privately with Governor Moore in Washington this week. The White House summed it up, saying the president underscored his administration's commitment to standing with Baltimore every step of the way in this recovery. The president and the governor also discussed the need for continuing to support for those workers impacted by the Key Bridge collapse and also for the families of the six men who died. We'll continue to follow this story. For now, we're live in South Baltimore. Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you.